This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Ogonoy. This is episode 56 of the podcast. Thank you very much for listening. And in this episode, I will be bringing you the full uh, recording of the cosplay panel that I did at Cosmicon. I moderated it uh, by invitation of the organizers of Cosmicon and NCPH. So uh, the guests uh, will be introduced in the whole content of the segment of this segment of this podcast. But before we proceed to the actual recorded uh, audio, I will be announcing a lot of things this November. It will be a very busy month. Very is a lazy word, by the way, but it will be a busy month for keepsakes as I will be going places. First up, November 1, 2, 3, that will be the Coslandia 2019 at SMX Convention Center Aura inside SM Aura Premier uh, in Taguig. And the following week after that, there will be the final iBlog Summit And that is the 15th uh, Philippine Blogging Summit at the UP College of Law, same location as always. This will be a reunion of sorts for the blogging community because I believe uh, in the past few years, medyo busy na rin yung mga organizers ng iBlog and the, the blogging landscape has changed so on and so forth. So, uh, we're expected to see ourselves at the last iBlog of 2019 and perhaps in perpetuity, which is kind of sad because there goes one event na pupuntahan ko. <laughs> and uh, aside from that, I will be at Japan Fiesta 2019. It will also be held at SMX Aura, SMX Convention Center Aura at SM. Or a premier tagig. Uh, th- this will be from November 9 to 10. And the following weekend after that, I will be uh, moder- uh, perhaps I will be uh, managing the whole course of the Customer Love Fest at Tower Club Makati. This is for the customer experience professionals. And we are encouraging you to join us. And uh, chances are uh, you won't be disappointed because we have 12 speakers from various industries. And dami po nating uh, mga speakers dito for two days. So you, uh, give us a call if you are interested at Customer Love Fest, 863-30153 in Manila. Excuse me, so that's 863-30153 in Manila. And yeah, uh, also the following weekend after that, I'm confirmed... To join all of you in Cebu once again for Arcon 2019. This will be held at the J Center Mall Convention Center in Mandawe, Cebu. Everything's ready and we're just waiting for the go signal for the media launch rather of Arcon 2019, which will be held the following week after this post, uh, after the posting of this episode. So. Mga sabuan mga bay, please let me join in once again in your community as we perhaps uh, celebrate another year of Arcon, one of Cebu's biggest events in the not just cosplay to uh, anime, role playing, comics, and hobbies. So uh, yeah, see you there. And that said. I will be turning you over to Ayala Mall's South Park in Monte Lupa City for the Cosmic Con 2019 featuring the moderated panel. I, I moderated it uh, about cosplay and its effects. Keep sex. This is one of the cute na Hatsune Miku cosplayers I've ever seen. And later on... Uh, later on, we'll be having, uh, I'll be having a copy of her photo, no? Ladies and gentlemen, one of the judges for Cosplay Idol Season 5, Cosmic Edition, Raven! Come on over the stage. Our second panelist is 
very familiar na sa akin. So he's very familiar. He's been through a lot. And uh, as, uh, as uh, what would happen earlier, he is the uh, he's one of the judges for Cosplay uh, Cosplay Idol season five. Yeah. Alright, okay, thank you very much. Alright. Let's welcome to the stage, Mr. Jason Tabuso! What? What? Alright, and our last one, not the least. I want you to call her name. She is our international guest cosplayer all the way from Vietnam! What's her name? Hindi ko kayo makinig. What's her name? Hanami! Come on down! A round of applause for Hanami, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause. Palapa ka naman. Alright. So before we start our panel discussion, let me first say this. Uh, I hope it's correct. Chao Butoy, Chao Mong Den Bukok sa Philippines. Oh, thank you. I understand it. I I asked Google. I uh, asked Google to <laughs> to do it for me. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And I I believe you're currently into Azure Lane these days. You're doing. Uh, you're cosplaying Laffy. Um. Yes. Um. But today. I'm cosplaying uh, Mechanic Red Riding Hood from Identity 5 game. Anyone who's familiar with Identity 5? Yes. They've had a collaboration with Persona, I believe. Yes. 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 All right. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, have a, uh, we'll be having uh, three questions. So first and foremost, uh, let's uh, start with Raven. Alright, so, uh, these are three sets of questions. So, for you, uh, I'll be asking this to you, the others, no? What made you interested in cosplaying? What inspired you basically to cosplay? Yes. Um, for me, kasi, I really enjoy dressing up. And like, then I got into the Japanese fashion. And then I noticed anime and all of their costumes were like really pretty and originally designed. So I got into cosplay and then I started, first I started doing random original characters like OCs. And then I kind of got bashed for it at first. Yes, <laughs> I had the past like that. Then that made me like stick to canon characters. Canon characters characters that are produced, not the original characters. I see. So, uh, okay. Uh, how, uh, let's move on to Jason, by the way. I'll be asking the same question as I asked Raven earlier, before we proceed. What What made you interested in cosplay? Uh, okay. I'm okay, interested in cosplay na only by costume. Then, syempre is, if you're an otaku, a fan of a game, a fan of an anime, or a movie, or anything a fictional characters is, Pag minsan, pag naga, minsan nagsisimula tayo sa nagagandahan tayo sa cosplay, hindi ko cosplay natin. Then, aside, then aside, is mamahalin din natin bigla yung characters niya. Like what I'm cosplay today is Goku. Actually, San Goku is one of my dream cosplay. I cosplay, bata pa lang ako, naglalaro pa lang ako ng text sa kapogs. Doon ko sinakay, doon, doon, doon ako nagsimula. So, nagkaroon ako ng passion na, na mahalin yung pagko-cosplay ko. Not only by cosplay, mahalin mo din yung character na kinakosplay mo. Kasi wa, hindi ka lang basta kasi nagdi-dress up lang para lang ipa, ipakita sa sarili mo na cosplayer ka o ipakita mo sa sarili mo na kaya kong magsuot ng ganito. Na parang ano lang, para i-boost lang yung confidence mo. Hindi na ito basta pag-boost ng confidence mo. It is para din ito ma-boost kung gano'n mo kalab yung character na kinakosplay mo. Yun yung nag ano sa akin kaya nag-interested ako naman patuloy sa cosplay. Then I do mini cosplay na rin like Cloth, Cloth Time Armored Time. Especially I'm a fan of ito, Kusatsu. 
Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, or also no Power Ranger, even as special. Then yun, then, hindi na sa characterization o yung mismo attitude ng character. Even the galaw, kahit ang paano is yung movements nila is ginagaya ko, although medyo mahirap talaga kaya. Pero wala namang magagawa, ay, wala namang, wala namang masama kung itatry mo yung hindi mo kaya. Mali mo, yung pala yung hidden talent. Right. Uh, for the benefit of Hanabi, what Jason said is that Son Goku is one of his dream cosplays and that he's also cosplaying to Kosatsu. And he is not just cosplaying to uh, boost his confidence, it's more of an expression. Tama ba ako? Yes. I'm correct. All right. So Hanabi, I'll be asking the same question. What made you inter uh, interested in cosplaying? What inspired you? Yes. Actually, I'm growing up reading manga like Doraemon and Conan. Then, until one day, I watched One Piece anime. Since then, I'm into anime and manga. I watch it all day long, all day, all night. And until one day, I want to be like the character. I want to be like them. Then I discovered that cosplay the so was with my dream. I began cosplaying since then. Right. So, bonus question for Hannah B. How long have you been cosplaying? Um, for almost ten years. Since, ten years. Yeah, wow. Since 2008, I began cosplaying original character. But uh, until 2009, I uh, cosplaying my first properly character, which is um, Rin Kagamine from Vocaloid. Vocaloid. Anyone? Any fans of Vocaloid here? All right. Okay. So, um. Since you're from Vietnam, how is the cosplay community in Vietnam? Really, really huge. Yes, really huge. Uh, otaku and anime, manga fans, um, that's a lot, a lot of them. Can you mention a major event in Vietnam that is related to cosplay? Um, there are four season festival called um, Aki Masuri, Fuyu Masuri, Natsu Masuri, those season are the biggest event. If you come to Vietnam, come to when their uh, four season festival. I promise it's really huge event there. So this happens every season, so like four times a year. Nice, nice. All right, maybe, maybe I, I've been to Singapore before uh, for CT Alpha Singapore and I was like, uh, I think I'm going to start expanding my perspective by going to different countries. Uh, by the way, uh, anyone here who's going to Cebu for ArtCon, November? Cebu, yes, yes. Someone over there is going to Cebu. See you there. All right, so uh, let's move on to our next segment. How has cosplay helped you in your life? How cosplay has contributed to you as an individual? What uh, has cosplay done to you? Let's start with Raven. Um, for me, cosplay really boosted my confidence. Like, at first, I'm what you call a weeb. Like, I used to watch and read manga. I used to watch anime. And then, I'd just be like a closet cosplayer, like wearing all those netaso, what you call. And then, I'll be wearing them and modeling them myself. But then, when I started cosplaying, I learned about makeup. I learned about, like, making yourself fit for the character you're trying to cosplay. I learned about that, and then when people liked my cosplay, it really boosted my confidence since I was really shy at first. I like your Hatsune Miku. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, uh, speaking of Fiatasa, it's excess fabric that you can buy. We have the fabric capital here in the Philippines. It's called Tai Tai, but it's, uh, it's, it's on the other side of, the, uh, it's on the east side. We're on the south side of Metro Manila, so that's on the east side. Uh, that's for your consideration, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, Jason, the same question. How cosplay has helped you as an individual? First of all, cosplay is one of my hobby and my... Tagalog na nga. Sige, sige, sige. sige. Okay lang, okay lang. I got the same for you. Ayun, ang um, cosplay is... Yung una, hobby ko lang libangan ko. Aminado ko, pag nasa loob ka ng cosplay is... nakakatakas ka ng konti sa mga problema mo sa reality. So, hindi naman yun sa pagtakas talaga. It is, yung parang kahit na parang palimutan mo siya to refresh your mind and body. Then, bali mo, after the cosplay na gagawin mo is 
masarap mo na ako ng problema sa yan. Then yun, is, then dumating sa time na sobrang naka-help sa akin yung cosplay by una is by winning for some contest yun. Actually, I'm proud na ang first cosplay contest ko na nagpanunod is one of the events of Red Cloud Interactive and CPH which is the Otako Encore Cosplay Idol 2013. Ang first character ko na nagpanunod doon is Kakuzu from Naruto Shippuden. Isa sa mga Akatsuki. So, nagtry ako doon. Doon nagsimula yung nagsinusunod yung panalo ko. Then, natuto ko mag-crop by using cartoon. Then, now I'm using rubber sheet. Then, may nagpapa-empty yung sami, nagpapa-made order, nagpapagawa ng armor, nagpapagawa ng props. Then, so on, naging... May mga, may mga gigs, mga event, like for openings na kailangan na ng cosplay attraction. Then, ang pinaka-greatest achievement ko is... I have a TV appearance for, of being a, cos, a cosplayer. So, na-featured ako sa many... many... Show in the TV like Kung Bakit Kay Ganda, Unang Hirit, KMJS, then especially the AHA. Uh, I've been featured two times in AHA by cosplaying Monkey the Luffy and Bleach. Noong time na finature nila yung anime na Bleach and One Piece. Then yun, then sa cosplay, salamat din ako dahil sa cosplay ko nakilala yung aking mga pangasawa. Nandun yung nakaupo doon. <laughs> Dito ko nakalala siya. Then yun, sobrang nakahim sa kanya ko. Then until now, until sa huli, sa pinakawali, hindi ko iiwan ako. Because this is not only my passion, this is not only my career, this is my life. So for the benefit of Hanabi, what he said was that uh, there's this thing called escapism, you know, you escape from problems. And Jason is uh, somehow uh, escaping his life through cosplay. And through cosplay, he has done a lot. So he has been, he has appeared on TV. He has appeared on. Uh, I, I I mean, it's he's also a crafter. You mean that that wig over there? That's I believe that's made out of rubber, rubber, right? And cosplay is his life. That's what he said. So that's uh, also in cosplay, he has met his loved one, future wife. A round of applause. Hanabi is congratulating you in advance. All right, so Hanabi, uh, same question. How has cosplay helped you in your life? Yes, um, because of cosplay that I learned a lot of new things. I learned how to um, like edit my photos. I do take photos for my friend. I some, uh, sometimes make my costume that, and I do my own makeup that I learn a lot of new things to fit the character for cosplay. Besides, um, now I'm working as a professional cosplayer that I can able to travel around. Like, um, um, I, I can able to travel around to a lot of other cities, like to different cities, like to Philippines, I'm able to meet you guys. Yes, it's a wonderful experience. I think uh, if we extend this conversation further, you will learn more about the cosmic community because uh, personally, I've been here almost a decade now. So by November, I'll be celebrating my 10th year. The, uh, there's a lot of events. Basically, almost every month, there's uh, a lot of events here. And there are four major events here. Ozine Fest, so that's from Otamazine. The next one is ToyCon, the Philippine Toy Convention, uh, which is being held in Pasay, which is quite a bus ride plus two from here. Uh, there is uh, Best of Anime, the Best of Anime Convention, and there's Cosplay Mania. Have you heard? Uh, of course, I believe you've heard about Cosplay Mania, right? Yeah. All right, All right. So uh, that's our Four Seasons events yeah. this year. Yes. If you have Four Seasons, we yes. have Four Seasons too. Yes. <laughs> It's, it's not necessarily four seasons, but there are also events that are sprouting here and there, especially this November, especially this Cosmic Con. This, uh, this has been held for like... Dave, how many years have you been to Cosmic Con? How many years have you been to Cosmic Con? It's the third Cosmic Con, and it's being held here in Alabang, so it's, this is the hometown, perhaps, of yes. Cosmic Con. Yes. Right. 
All right, so let's uh, let's focus uh, from our lives to the lives of perhaps everyone here who's in, who might be interested in cosplay, who are cosplaying already. So, do you recommend cosplay as a hobby? Well, for starters, I mean, other people, they wouldn't really think of cosplaying as a hobby because they think it's too expensive. But if you really love it, you can just save up for it. Like, pag-ipunan mo, tapos compassion mo talaga yun. Ayun, sundin mo. Hindi yung, if not, kasi hindi ka magtatagal kung wala kang passion for something eh. So yeah, passion runs everything. Uh, but hey, uh, speaking of budget, uh, can you give us a figure or, <laughs> or how, how do you save up on cosplay? Um, basically, kasi for cosplaying, it helped me like save up and earn money from fixing wigs. I run also a wig fixing service because of cosplay. I learned how to fix wigs, sew, make wig covers. Yes, and not not every cosplayer can fix their own wig, so they have to <laughs> seek assistance of someone, anyone, anyone who's uh, who's doing well. And you're doing your business is doing well, perhaps. Yeah, every per month. <laughs> every per month, every month, especially the con season. We actually have five days of events here. It is spearheaded by the ones at Ozzy and, and Cosplay that page, Cosplay Mania. So we have Cosplay Matsuri and uh, Ozzy Fest Anime Figure Special, running from like basically five days. Five days, in five days cosplay event. Two, Ozin has two days, and then the following after that, cosplay Matsuri, five, uh, three more days, and then we end the uh, year with a bang. New year. So, uh, in case of Jason, I believe uh, you uh, you mentioned that you're making crops. So, yeah, but the question is, do you recommend cosplay as a hobby? Yes, I, I recommend cosplay as a hobby. Why? Why? Because... Yeah. Is cosplay. Nice ang cosplay is hindi lang siya. No, Jason. Ano? Makakaiwas din tayo sa pagko-cosplay. Yung sa mga magsisimula pala sa pagko-cosplay. Lahat naman ng gawain sa mundo is mayroong bad and good effects. So, balance lang natin yung kung ano yung ginagawa natin. Then, yun nga is huwag natin huwag lang tayong cosplay ng cosplay kasi nakakasama rin yun sa atin baka mamaya napapagbabayaan mo yung pag-aaral mo o yung trabaho mo so ayun cosplay is part as an hobby then yun nga kaya ni sabi ni Miss Raven is magastos ang pag-cosplay hindi na siya basta magastos nakakapagod then nakakaubos din siya ng oras then yun Sa akin, ako ang minado ko minsan, naaabuso ko yung sarili ko by doing cosplay. Minsan, nag-overview ko sa pagka-crowd, hindi natutulog, then kinabukasan ng mag-contest, then suddenly, yun, medyo aatakihin, matayin. Huwag na huwag nyo gagawin yun. Although, hindi maiiwasan, pero as long as possible, gawin nyo na mas maaga. Yun lang. Basta yun, ang cosplay is, enjoy nyo lang. Gawin nyo siyang passion. Kasi pag na-depress ka kagad sa pag-cosplay, perfect, binubuli ka. Like me, ako. I'm cosplaying San Goku. Lately, may, ayoko, lately is marami nang buli sa akin bakit napakapayat ko, nagdadrags daw ba ako? And I suggest, because San Goku is my favorite character. And idadaan ko yun sa kung ano yung character niya. Isa sa buhay ko. Kaya, bago mo ko naitin, panoorin mo muna ako sa stage kung paano ako gumawa. Alright, okay, so for benefit of Hanabi again, uh, please recommend the cosplay as a hobby, but then again, it's not the top most priority because there's work and stuff. I believe you're, you're working. And uh, uh, don't cram your costumes. Don't basically don't cram. He's, he's always, uh, he's, uh, sometimes he's, he cramps his cosplay to a fault. So he's having, you know, some health problems, but uh, yeah. Yeah, you're still okay? You're still okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, yes, he's, he does recommend it. But, and uh, regardless of the physique of the body, uh, if you love your character and you perform well on stage like what he did earlier, uh, it's, it's all good, it's all good, so it's fine. Ayun, added ko lang, sa mga nabubuli sa pagkukospe dahil hindi daw ang cope yung katawan, hindi daw sexy, or bakit sexy ka pero mataba yung cosplay mo, 
is ano mo lang huwag kang madaw na ay ayoko na mag cosplay ayoko na mag ayoko na ganito ayoko na mag tanong ko which is nabuli ka gawin mo next time gawin mo mas better andun yung ipakita mo sa kanila na ah binabuli nyo mo ngayon ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung kaya ko ganun lang po so we, uh, he has the tractors Uh, people who do not like what he is cosplaying uh, and uh, he is proving what he got on stage. So he's uh, suggesting, recommending to everyone who has the same experience as him to do the same, to prove the haters, the naysayers from. Right, so yes, the question is uh, do you recommend cosplay as a hobby? Hanabi, please. Well, I must say that. Cosplay is really expensive hobby. Everyone agree with me, right? Yes, yes. So, my suggestion is, if you can't afford, able to afford, um, like, no, too many cosplay for a month or a year, just focus on one character that you like the most. Like, because if you like something already, it can't be helped. You like it, right? You want to do it. So, just do it. Just do it. It's your hobby. But, like, if you are short on money, then just focus on one character problem instead of doing many characters. Alright, uh, I think uh, I'm not a cosplayer, but I can relate because I have friends who are doubling down. Uh, if I say so myself, doubling down. Uh, doing one cosplay, at least one cosplay a month. So, uh, depending upon your financial resources, depending upon your willpower to pursue the cos costume plan, the cost plan, it's up to you to manage yourself. So, uh, I believe we're all on the same page here. Every one of you, are recommending cosplay but in moderation because cosplay is a privilege am i correct yeah. right so i'm opening the floor to two people i sorry pa extend po ako mga five minutes lang for questions okay we're good all right any one of you want to ask uh, the panel questions please come to the stage Or else, I will just be adding more info. Guys, na kayo. All right. Okay. So, uh, since we've come to the point that I believe everyone, I, everyone, na intindihan niyo yung ano po discussion. Okay. Wala na kayo tanong. Sure kayo. They don't have any questions anymore. So, all right. So. If none, I guess that's about it. And again, welcome to the Philippines. I, that's what I said earlier. Huh? Yes, and uh, yeah, speaking of going to different places, I have to sneak in this question. Um, which countries have you visited so far? Mostly in Saint Vietnam. Uh, other than Vietnam, I have visited Bangkok, Bangkok, and then Manila. And I would love to visit other cities in the future. I see it's like Singapore, right? Yes, of course. See you maybe next year? Uh, I'm going to Cebu. It's, it's a plane ride from Manila, but it's still part of the Philippines. But yeah, Cebu, Cebu, um, every city, uh, every cosplay community that I've been through, Cebu, Baguio, Manila, Davao, like what I've uh, mentioned earlier, they all have different, uh, different sets of things. They have uh, drama, they have issues, but what's underlying above that is that it's a cosmic community and everyone is there to have fun. And uh, yeah, pretty much sums up, yes. We have here David uh, asking one more question, one last question, yes. I would uh, ask some of our cosplayers here on uh, Minandito how cosplay helped them. Would that be okay? Uh, 
Probably let's ask this uh, uh, Kenshin. Kenshin. Hi, bro. How about this guy? So, what's your name? Hinta na, pwede ka may translate ang statement. Paano ba nakatulong yung cosplay sa'yo? How did cosplay help you as a person? Tulad din ang sinabi ni Jason. Dapat wala, hindi na ako nagtanong. Tulad din ito. Ah, ah, okay. Minsan yung uh, problema natin sa lugar natin, nililimutan natin. So he's saying that just like what Jason said, uh, cosplay helps us forget about the problems in life. So the thing is, it's not only beer and liquor that could help you forget problems. You should also try cosplay, right? Yes. Cosplay is better, way better than doing drugs, right? Yes, one hundred percent. Maybe good, huh? I could have asked the kid, but it's too young. Malay mo sa cosplay ka magka-love life. Ayun, ito, ito, ito. Hi, Miss, how are you? Hi. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, may ako. Ay, Miss, Miss ka ba, Miss? Miss ka, Miss. Ah, so what's your name? Ryu. Ryu. So how did cosplay help you as a person? Paano na ito lang sa'yo? Natulungan ako ng cosplay sa, pa, uh, sa pagkakaroon ng maraming friends. Kasi most likely, sa bahay lang ako like, introvert. Hindi ako nagpag-usap sa kahit ka rin. Tapos yung pinaka-close friends ko, niyaya ako mga cosplay. Tapos, ayun po, hanggang sa naging intong sa cosplay na rin pa ako, naging mahilig ka rin sa cosplay. Sa masalisahan na rin pa ako ng gamit. Tapos, nagsimula na rin po dumama yung mga friends. So she's telling that uh, you're, you're, uh, she's an introvert, so cosplay helps her to have uh, more friends. And since formerly she was always at home, but now she's enjoying event with uh, her friends. Last last question, thank you. Ito from UK pa to. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Please. You're from, not from the Philippines, right? You're from Europe, so I'll ask you. Hi, Charlie. Yeah. Cosplay from, uh, you know, the Adventure Time? Yeah, I think, I forgot the name, but it's voiced by Tom Kenny. Ice King. Ice King. Ice King. Ice King from Adventure The name, yes. Charlie Berlin. You find me on Facebook, charlie.berlin.3. Many, many Facebook albums. And one special one called Male Cosplayers. So it's not the usual mix, girl, 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 girl. Oh, here I am in the back. Girl, 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 girl. Oh, look, two boys, yeah? It's only men. Male cosplayers. So if you, if I take a photo of the man, it's in this, it's in this folder. Maybe 600, 500, 600 for me. Wow. And so, question. Wait, wait, wait. And thank you very much, David, for all your work. Thank you for this, so we all can come for free here. Thank you for Naruto Day. I think Fisher Ball, you were also involved. Yeah. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. We do fantastic thing for the cosplay community. Thank you. And the question for you is, how did cosplay? You're still cosplaying and doing photography. How did cosplay help you as a person? It makes me feel very, very well. First time I came to Manila, I came for five days. This was my first, first contact with cosplay. Now I came for one month, already for the fourth time. And I enjoy every day. And thank you, the cosplayers. Thank you, the Philippine people. Thank you, Manila. Marami din sa lang. Alam mo kasi, I'll be guilty with him before, nung topic natin kanina. When I first, I wrote an article about him, I actually judge him as a person. Uh, you know, the way he looks, the way he took pictures. I wrote an article asking about what's his intention. And then I realized when I talked to him that what you see from afar is not actually how he is as a person. So I stand correct. And that's why in, in our events, technically, and that's what I'm proud of in our events, 
everyone is welcome here. That's why I like the discussion, how cosplay helps your life, because in all of our events, we always uh, make sure that everyone is welcome. Even if you have an issue, you have done something wrong, we always believe that you can always be a better person. All right, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right. Right. So, uh, for a closing note on my end, uh, Cosplay helped me as a person. Again, it's been almost 10 years since I'm here in this community. I stuck with the Cosplay community. I, I was supposed to go to the idol community. You know MNL48? MNL48. Uh, you, you have a sister group in Vietnam, right? SGO48. Yes. yes, but yes. I was almost going there, but then again, my heart is with Cosplay really is with cosplay. Taking photos, going to places, it's been a wild ride and uh, whatever happened to me, I believe there's a reason for it. So whatever happened to us, you've been criticized before, you've been criticized harshly before. I believe you, had a, you have a fair share of criticisms before. Yeah. Alright, so whatever happened to us, we're still alive and kicking and we're here, we're here, and we're, we're, we're doing this discussion. So, we hope that everyone who is watching this, not just on stage, not just here in the audience, but also on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, this is how cosplay has helped us. Any final words from Raven? For me, I think you should just enjoy cosplay, even if sometimes you feel down, like, it could help you distress too, like you would put yourself into another character and like be that character for a day, enjoy it for a day, and then the rest could be history. And then when you go back home, it would be like nothing happened, but you feel happier about yourself, you feel better about yourself, and then sometimes you forget your problems like that. So just enjoy cosplay as it is. Jason. Enjoy cosplay because cosplay is ay nang bago cosplay para sa isang gamot para sa parcel tama nakakarelate to ng pain sa atin once nandoon tayo sa lulukod or nakakarelate tayo ng kahit anong hinihingin sa buhay then yun balansehin mo lang ang buhay mo bisan bilang isang cosplayer dahil uno sa lahat bago ka napasa sa mga cosplay nito may mga una ka pang ginagawa then ayun love your cosplay passion love your character and sa lahat ng mga cosplayer na nakakaranas ng criticism, ng especially ng pagpubulis. I-come up nyo lang. Although masakit, nakakalungkot, pero it will help us para mas tumapang tayo, mas mag-boost yung confidence natin to continue our path to being a cosplay, cosplayer. Not only also to being a better person. Alright, so for uh, the benefit of everyone, uh, what he says basically, cosplay is a pain reliever. And whatever happened, whatever criticism that you have, just take it and then uh, use it to become a better cosplayer and a better person. Alright, any final words from you, Hanabi? I have an advice that, well, you cosplay for yourself, right? You're not cosplaying for others. So just don't care about the haters, yes, don't care about them, just enjoy it, because you're cosplaying for your hobby, not others. I think that's one thing that people need to realize, cosplayers need to realize that first and foremost, they are escaping from the realities, the harsh reality of life, and they're doing this for themselves. It's okay to be quite selfish, if I say so myself. We have to love ourselves. Cosplay as a hobby is a way for people to love themselves by expressing themselves into the character that they love. And uh, with that said, Hanabi, can you tell us where can we find you online? Well, you can search for my page, uh, which is Hanabi on Facebook. Besides, I also use Instagram and Twitter. You can search Hanabi Cosplay uh, or you can come to my booth over there. There will be a link to uh, all of my uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, Jason, where can we find you? Sa, sa mga cosplayer na gusto magpagawa sa akin ng armor, ng mga props, 
Then, ayun, just search my name, Jason Tabuso, or just search my cosplay page with is the name is Hikari Cosplay Crafting Shop. So, just PM me lang, then mag-negotiations tayo about your cosplay props or costume na gusto mong pagawa sa akin. And that's it. And lastly, Raven, Academic.com. <laughs> yes, for me, you can reach me at my page, um, Apocalypse. I have a Facebook account, which is Raven Rachel Rock. I believe Raven Rachel Rock is another name for... A character in Teen Titans, right? Oh yeah, I, I got it from Teen Titans, because she's my favorite character. So, secretly, Hanabi secretly, Raven is... Um... Actually, I want to cosplay Raven in the future. I'm planning to cosplay her. Brilliant. If you visit here in Manila, and then you tap her, do you have that as a cost plan? I'm not sure because I'm not sure if I can take the face paint and gray skin, but ah. if I have the means, I might do it in the future as well. Alright, so with that said, thank you very much for listening and watching to this panel. Last but not the least, let's have a selfie. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. No episodes can be heard at anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Leave your voice messages to this podcast through the Anchor app available on Google Play and App Store. Don't forget to visit me on social media for updates. Facebook.com slash keepsakesbyj, Twitter at jayagonoy, YouTube.com slash jayagonoy, and my blog at www.jayagonoy.xyz. Shout out to Lee Rosie Bear for the music. I hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast. Until next time.